All right, guys, gals, and everything in between. Sorry I didn't get last week's video out to you. Hecticness of the holidays and such. And so I figured I'd almost make this like an hour-long Ash vs. Evil Dead finale. But, you know, I have to say, after the end of this episode, my first reaction was, well, thank God they already greenlit a second season, or else I would be way more mad than I should be. Ash vs. Evil Dead, episode 10, the finale. So, Ash, after all the millennials got killed off in last week's episode, which was cool, by the way, the, the fighting and all of that, they are left in the cabin for a final battle. Ultimately, Pablo's got, like, the Necronomicon on his face, and Xena Warrior Princess is actually the person who wrote the book, so she's the Dark One. Although... There's certain things that, to me, didn't line up with that, but whatever. Her being the Dark One didn't really resonate with me, because when she left Hell, or whatever she left from, it seemed like she was a good, like, hero character. And she's not, but the, their reasons are that they just decided she's the Dark One. So, I don't know on that one. But... Honestly, that was the least of my worries. I still love this episode. What I loved was they brought it back to Evil Dead 1 with the horror and the grisly violent nature of it all. Because in the beginning of the episode, I mean, they're just fighting everything. Amanda is trying to attack Ash with a chainsaw and they're smashing through the wall and they're punching and kicking at each other and stuff, just fighting to survive. It was visceral. It was visceral. It didn't feel choreographed. And so it was back to that in blood everywhere. Our crew gets split up. Pablo, of course, goes into the depths with Xena, Warrior Princess, Ruby, but I prefer to call her Xena because... She's Xena. Ash, they all go down into the basement, whereas Kelly and sorority girl number one are outside. And sorority girl number one, she's freaking out, saying like, oh my god, what are we doing here? And Kelly's like hitting with an axe and blood's coming out of the walls because evil dead. And so finally, Remember that scene in the reboot of Evil Dead with the nail gun to the face? Yeah, they nail to the face her. Kelly gets flown outside, lots of blood, and then closed in. And I love how she's like, I'm gonna get you out of there. You're gonna get out of there. And then something just picks up sorority girl number one, and blood explodes all over the window. Oh, that was so cool. I love how they took it back to... Evil Dead 2 with a lot of the comedy where, and actually some Army of Darkness too, where, like for example, Ash is in the basement and he's looking around and the weird demon child and he's like, I don't want to shoot you and stuff, and then it bites him because stuff seems to bite Ash or like kick him and I, he gets beat up. So he's fighting the thing and then he's sitting there and he's, and he's like, someone should put some soap in your mouth or he said something like that, but just jams the gun in there, picks it up and bam! and weird goop flies all over his face. That's the kind of stuff I love to see in a finale of Evil Dead. They stepped it up with their game on that, and I'm just fanboying out right now because it is so cool to watch on screen with Ash just blowing things away, and he's fighting, and he runs in to fight Xena, and he's shooting at her in the stomach, and he's just kind of like, wow, that's easy. But we all know it's not. So we get these gr then grotesque images from almost like the reboot of Evil Dead, where he's like giving birth to something out of his mouth, and it looks like a raw chicken tender, and it's... Bleh. It's really gross. And that is the kind of thing I want to see in Evil Dead. Here's where we get to my issues. So we see Kelly being a strong protagonist, right? Burning the cabin down. We see Pablo between the Necronomicon and himself. What do we get with this epic fight between Xena and him realizing that he's that she's like, you know, your your mortal weapons aren't gonna work against me. And he starts using her dagger on her and stuff, and then she's like, or we can call a truce. I just let evil reign, and you can just go to Jacksonville with your buddies and hang out there. What does Ash do? He's like, 
all right. And then they drive off into the sunset and you hear mass destruction and death. End of season. What? They're, they're serious right now. That's how we're ending it. <sighs> Guys, gals, and everything in between, stars representatives, if you're watching this, you don't end your episode like that. Okay, in Army of Darkness, Ash was like, yeah, just send me back, I did your thing. Now, I got you the book, now you send me back, kind of thing. But in the end, what did Ash do? He stood his ground and he fought. Ash fought. He fought for what's right, for what's good. Ash is a hero. He's not some jerk who's going to sit there and negotiate and be like, okay, fine, you guys can take it over. As long as it's under control, that's okay. Even though, clearly, she's betrayed him like 10 times in the past 15 minutes. But no, Ash decides because he wants to go to Jacksonville really badly that, yeah, I'm just going to let evil reign. Oh, we'll fix it later. Ash wouldn't do that. That's not in his character. I mean, he stood and fought in Army of Darkness. He didn't want to be there in Evil Dead 2, but he still fought and he helped everybody he could, even though he didn't necessarily like them. He still tried to save them. Why? Because he's a good person. He may be a deadbeat loser. As we've established in this, in this show, he's kind of a bit of a loser sometimes. But he still is a hero. He ultimately doesn't want people to get hurt. He wants to help people. He wants to fight for what's right. This goes against everything about the character, and it left a bad taste in my mouth at the end of the season. I love this show. I love this season. But if you could just cut that last five minutes out, throw it away, and have a heroic battle where all of a sudden maybe Ash is like, but that baby won't work. And shoots her. Something. I don't care. It's It would be better than what they gave us. The rest of the episode, perfect Evil Dead. Perfect. That last five minutes left such a rotten taste in my mouth. It really made me mad. I'm still excited for season two. Of course I'm going to watch season two and review it for you guys as it comes out. But seriously, Ash wouldn't do that. If you're going to make a season two, you're going to need Ash to be a hero again. He's got to be better than that. Don't just make him a loser because it's funny because Bruce Campbell's an amazingly funny person. Make it count. Because if this were just one season, this would be a horrible ending. And it would be one of those TV shows that everyone talks about as like, oh, but that ending was horrible. Do not let Ash vs. Evil Dead have that. You're better than that. All right, guys, gals, and everything in between. Now that my little rant is over, I still love this season. I love this show. I can't wait to see season two. What do you guys think? Are you going to stick around for season two? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Got plenty more videos coming to you. Hail to the king, baby.